hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel now in the last class we made a we implemented light and dark mode in our fruit chat app with the use of a package called get now today we'll be making a simple maze game and we'll be using the maze package this and also we'll be using the get package too right, so the, this is the maze package here be making this game and be using the get package here too. sorry still loading okay yeah so i already have it installed in my app and i will leave the link to the description in the description below if you want it all right so i have a simple code here this is just my main function this material app function which wraps around this first first stateless widget and this is where i'll implement my maze code my game code all right and without wasting much time without wasting much time let's get started if you are new here subscribe to my youtube channel okay so here i'll have an app bar i have my app bar here and i want it to be <coughs> i want it to be empty so i don't want to have anything here and then my body in my body so there's a little there's a little small code here so i'll just copy it and explain in my explain it as i use it but let's check it out first okay so here we have our body and i'll just paste in the maze code and if I should run this if I should run this we'll see the code in a few seconds okay so let me explain this here we have the maze item which is the maze body that is wrapping around the game yeah and we have this maze item maze item which is this http this man running here this is the maze item and it is an image dot image type dot network we have other image type if you don't want to use a network image you can use asset files and everything but since we are using an image a link it is image type dot network the columns here is six the row is 12 you can increase this by make it 10 now you see how it will change let me restart this and we'll see how it will change also <coughs> we have the maze item here like when we finish the game this will be here so it won't move and it's also image type network so let me see now when i change it column to 10 you can see it like this and we have a print here from i from finish line so let me play it to the end and see how it looks okay this is it and when we get to the finish line to the flag here you we'll see it's a floater eye from finish line so we are saying on finish you should print this now if you auto restart <coughs> you'll see that it will generate another game yeah another game area yeah yes also if you want to change the wall color you can use colors dots and any color you want to use let me try deep orange and if i save this or maybe i need to alt restart also can change the wall thickness to whatever we want or thickness let's say 10 and let me auto restart and let's wait for this you can see the world became thicker but <laughs> it's too thick so we can leave it at five and also this deep orange is looking weird so let's just change this 
industry. Let's look for another color. Um, let's say lime and all three start. Okay, and here we have this. Alright, so I hope we understand. If you don't, you can leave our question in the comment below. I'll make sure to reply all. Now, we'll see that if you get to the last place, like, well, moving to the finish line, we just it will just finish and there's nothing like, we have to alt restart to change the code. Come, let me just get to the finish line and you see what I'm saying. Okay, I from finish line. So we just have to get, but I want it to be like when we move to the finish line, it will automatically restart the game. So yeah, we'll be using the get package for navigation. Now I said in the previous video that we want to use any get package. We have to wrap this material up with the get material hub, and so I will have to alt restart since we change this to get material up. And there we see that get material controller has been created. Now, if you want to navigate to use get material for navigation, we'll create another stateless widget. All right, so this one, let me just copy everything here, collapse this and copy it. Control C, and yeah, I'll just paste it down here. Control V. So let me change this name to second, second and second, yeah, okay. So it is the same thing we are having here yeah, and if I save this, nothing will happen. So yeah, I want it to be like unfinished. So we'll navigate to the second screen. So that will be get dot to second get dot to second and here we have our page yeah which is the second and to be a function also so when we finish here too i want it to be like get dot to and here we'll navigate to the first to the first okay and if you ought restart now you got restart now Let's wait for this to load. So if we play to the end, we play to the end. We we'll see. Let's wait. We we'll see that we are now in this second place, and as we know that this thing will automatically generate another new game area for it. But, but there's something wrong with this. You see that this is there's a back button for it, and now we can go back to the previous game we just finished playing. But I don't want it like that. So this is working like our second screen is on top the first screen. But I want it to be like when we navigate to the second screen, then the first screen should go off. So change this to get dot off. Okay, and yet to change it to get dot off, and let me restart this. Let's wait for this to load. So we'll, let's play. Let me play to the end so that you see the changes here. Let's wait and see the changes. Now you can see that there's no back button again. There's no way we can move to the back. And let me play this one to to the end. So yeah, it's just as if we have an endless game, endless levels of game. And well, this is where we will stop today, guys. If you want to see more content like this, kindly subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also comment down below. Your subscription will help a lot to help me create more videos and encourage me to do more and i will see you in the next lesson guys